you structure and details so that I can brush it in. Uh, I can see some sensor spots. Look at that sensor spots up there. We're going to have to get rid of those. Um, but I want that detail in those clouds. So we're going to do that. Hit OK. Go into the view edits mode. Open up that details. Grab the brush. Let's invert the mask so it's all painted in. And then I'm going to paint out the bottom area. Oop, paint out the bottom area. So there we go. And if we turn on the mask view, you can see what I'm doing. So that's clear. That's like a good idea, actually. So I can just really clearly get rid of all of this on the sand. And I might bring a little bit back in to the water. That's, there we go. That's cool. Yeah. Do I want to bring some into the water? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's bring this up to like a 75% application. I'm going to pinch out so that I get a really nice, big, soft brush. We am going to go ahead and turn the mask back on. And just there, you can see how soft it is going out over the, uh, over the water and the sand. Because remember, you can't control your brush size. Your brush size is controlled by pinching and zooming in and out of the image, not the brush itself. And now before and after. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's cool. All right, we're doing that. We're keeping that. Um, Zaya is asking, in Screwit, is the image still raw when editing? No. OK, so here, this is something that's this has come up before. Um, not on the show, but I think maybe it's a YouTube comment. Someone was asking about sending, can you send the raw file from Snapseed over to another app? No, because once you, once you send the image to another app, if you want the adjustments that you've made to go along with it, which that's why you were in Snapseed in the first place, right, to make these changes to it, the image by definition is no longer raw. The image has to have has to be rendered with the adjustments that you've put into it. Now, the interesting question, which I don't know the answer to, is what format is being sent over. Ideally, you want something that is uncompressed. You don't want it to create a JPEG and then send that over, because then that would be sending a compressed file, which you then do some more editing on, and it would recompress again and again, and you'd have massive generation loss. We don't want that to happen. I don't know. I need an engineer to tell me this. I don't know what behind the scenes happens in iOS as far as how files are transferred, whether it's up to the native app, whether there's something in the OS that handles it. Um, but the simple answer to the question is no, you're not sending the raw file over. If you did, then all you'd get back in Screw It or wherever you were would be the original raw image. You wouldn't have the adjustments made to it. So, um, so what you want to do is do your raw, start with the raw file in the app where you're going to do the, the most work to it, which would be in this case here. This is where you want to do your highlight recovery, stuff like that. The kind of thing that you can only do to the raw file. Okay. Hopefully that helps answer that question. Okay, so again, before and after on this, um, that's that's pretty awesome. I'm digging that. Okay, so that's good. We're good there. Let's back out of here. And let's do some retouching because we saw we got spots up there, so that's easy enough. Let's go for healing tool. Oop, need to pinch it again. Again, brush size is adjusted simply by zooming in and out of the screen. And I'm going to use my Apple Pencil. Wait, am I? It's it. Hold on. I've got to. I want to use my pencil, but I have to activate it. It's like asleep. Just plug it in for a second. Is that enough? No. Oh, yep, that did it. Yep. That activated. Let me undo what I just did. OK, that's good. Let's plug this back in. Wouldn't it be cool if the iPad Pro had multiple lightning ports? I don't know what else you need it for other than getting your pen activated. Uh, and we're back. OK. All right, so I'm going to get rid of that little spot there, get rid of that spot there. OK, let's see if there's any other. Panning around with two fingers, remember? There's another one up in the corner there, up in the top center. Let's get rid of that. Panning using two fingers. If I pan with one finger, I'm going to paint. So I can't do that. So let me undo that. Got to pan with two fingers. Is that, is that a spot or a cloud? <laughs> no, it's kind of, I think that might be a spot. Let's get rid of it. Let's just see what that looks like. It might be too big to get rid of. Actually, that worked out quite well. Uh, let's see here. Any other big spots in here? Ooh, there's one. There's one right there. Man, that was a dirty sensor. Oh, there's a little one. Let's get rid of that guy. Zoom in. Get rid of that. Cool. You don't have to use the pencil. I just like using it because I paid for it, and I feel like I don't get enough use out of it. So that's why I like to use it. There's a icky something on the beach there. Let's get rid of that. Uh, those other ones look like they kind of more like footprints. That first one looked like a piece of trash. There's another weird little spot. Let's get rid of that one. 
Okay. You've just watched a five minute sample of a live training video. To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member.